Gardeners swear by this white dust. Oh. Who are you? Diatomaceous earth, of course, for their gardens. But does it actually work? Well, let's dig into the science around diatomaceous earth for pest control. Diatomaceous earth, or DE, as we're going to refer to it in this video because my tongue twisting can't happen unless, of course, I do use white powder to make me talk that quickly. But it is fossilized algae that has been crushed down into a white fine powder, and it's mostly made of silica. It kills by abrading pests, waxy exoskeletons. So abrading is like sandpapering the exoskeleton of insects. This then dehydrates the insects, which means it's not poisoning anybody. It's just literally causing them to dry out like a prune, similar to how the sun tries to extinct me as a redhead. So with that being said, it doesn't work in all cases. It does work in some cases. So cases in which this will work can include things like earwigs and aphids. They say ants can be affected to the, by this as well. But the main key here is that it has to remain bone freaking dry. So the events in which it does work are relatively limited. I'm talking humid air is going to cause this stuff not to work. So you may want to put it in a container with some silica packs near the space in which the pests are. It's very specific. Or you just continually are applying it. Also keep in mind it has to kill via contact, meaning the bugs have to walk across it. So if you're going to do something like a bin somewhere, you have to attract those pests to that bin. Or you need to always continually be finely dusting in very dry conditions. Recent rain, no dice. Too much humidity, no dice. Recently watered, no dice. Can't put it in those environments because it's not gonna work. Now, the best places to put it is to target the undersides of the leaves as well as the base of the plants because these are the most effective areas to get this stuff to work in. Now, where diatomaceous earth or DE falls short comes in the world of hard body exoskeletons. So things like beetles, for example, it will not harm. We've discussed the fact that it can have no moisture before it becomes ineffective. And then furthermore, like any sort of organic pesticide or insecticide, it's unbiased. So it will kill anything that touches it. That includes beneficial soft body insects. Keep that in mind as well. Lab trials have shown that DE is very effective in killing stored product pests, like the flower beetle, for example. But efficacy was dependent on the dosage and as well as the particulate size of the diatomaceous earth. And field studies have confirmed it's highly effective with ants, cockroaches, bed bugs, for example. Of course, the effectiveness decreases when it's exposed to more moisture. And of course, the efficacy is again dependent on dosage along with the particulate size. So here's a fun fact about diatomaceous earth and why you may just choose to apply it to your garden in general. And that is it's a microbe magnet. It's 11 in size. And so because of that, it has a very high surface area. This makes it very beneficial for microbial adhesion. And because of this, we often do see it used in things like bioreactors. So in your garden, it could be hypothetical or theoretically, you could say it may actually increase the microbial activity in your soil, which will help with nutrient cycling, organic material decomposition, etc., and so forth. Now, if you watch my video on some additions you should make to your garden because it will really level you up, you know that we talked about silicon. And when we talked about silicon, we discussed the fact that it enhances or strengthens cell walls, makes a plant more disease resistant, and actually more resistant to stress as well. So one way to actually get this is through the addition of diatomaceous earth. It has something, once it degrades, called a monosilicilic acid, which is a plant-available form of silicon. Fact number three is that the brand does matter because the actual shape of the diatomaceous earth is what it makes it more or less effective. So if you've used it before and it was not effective, it may be because the shape of that diatomaceous earth particle was not ideal. What we're looking for is the spiny fresh that are on the diatomaceous earth. Now, I don't know any off the top of my head that for sure work because there's nothing that actually stated on any of the packaging to say, yes, this is a beneficial one. So unfortunately, I can't even point you in the right direction. But Geek Crew, if you have any diatomaceous earth that you deem worthy, then please drop in the comments down below. Help out your fellow geeks. So if you choose to go this route, what do you need to use? Well, number one is you need to use a food grade diatomaceous earth. You do not want to use a pool grade earth. Pool grade is toxic. Food grade is safe for plants 
and yourself. When applying, you want to wear goggles, you want to wear a mask, and you want to wear gloves because it will dry out your hands incredibly quickly because it's going to make those little micro cuts on your fingers. It can and will get in your lungs and then make micro cuts in your lungs. And it can and will get into your eyes and again cause micro cuts on your eyes. So please, PPE when you use this stuff, it's incredibly harmful. You want to avoid a blanket dusting and you only want to target specific insect infested spaces. Now, the reason for that is because, again, it can harm the beneficial guys. So you want to try to avoid that wherever possible. So should you use it? Well, diatomaceous earth is a spot treatment that is best used in dry weather on active infestation and always a part of an integrated pest management plan. Row covers, companion plants, hand removals, natural sprays, meaning it can't be used on its own. It has to be used in conjunction with other pest management plans because it will not solely do all the work. So moral of the story is that, yes, diatomaceous earth can be a powerful tool but only when used correctly and when using the correct brand. And I think you guys kind of get the idea. So Geek Crew, like I said, if you have any suggestions for diatomaceous earth that has worked for you, brand-wise, please pop those in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.